The mission workflow from the mobile app has been streamlined for the pilot standing in the field, getting ready to fly. This way, locations and timestamps are all filled out automatically, which give us the most accurate data possible. Whether you're creating missions in the app really depends on your day-to-day -day workflow. If you have the time to plan a mission, that's best done from the web dashboard where mission creation from the app is best to handle more emergent missions or things that can't be planned. Depending on your permissions, you may only be able to accept pre-approved missions in the app. However, pilots can also be given the ability to create missions on the fly from the mobile side as well. Taking a look a little deeper, the filter option here allows pilots to look at different statuses of their other assigned missions. But keep in mind, as this note up top is calling out, pilots will only be able to select approved missions to go complete the workflow and log flights against. So previously, I mentioned some of the functionality with saving the airspace for offline, as well as downloading workflows when the user logs in, just in case we go offline. We can also save missions for offline use as well. You can tell which missions are saved based on the check marks next to them. And to save a new mission, all we have to do is simply tap that cloud download icon. You'll see it switch over to a check mark. And now we've saved all the mission details, the airspace, the notes, and even a workflow if a special workflow had been assigned. After selecting the mission, you'll be presented with some of the details here, the notes, the area, the crew, everything looks good. So let's push forward and select. And now we're gonna be presented with the assigned workflow. So after logging our checklists and any required risk assessments, we can then proceed to the in-flight section of the app. Here, we can connect directly to most DJI aircraft, or we can continue on using manual flight logs if we're flying outside the platform. It's recommended to still capture all our activity using manual flight logs and not always rely on the imports, since there can be various reasons a flight doesn't get imported, whether it's an unsupported software or application, or there's some failure in another server, or it never syncs from the mobile device. So at least we'll always have that manual flight log to maintain a record of that pilot's flight. If we're continuing in the app, we can simply power up the remote controller and the drone, and we'll start to get our visuals. In this example, we'll go ahead and continue with a manual flight log. And from here, we'll select our desired batteries and aircraft. And we can continue logging this flight by either using a timer, like a stopwatch, where we can jump to another app and come back and stop that. Or when we come back to air control, we can just enter that duration in manually. If we need to log additional flights, you can do so using the timer or without. So if I tap that one more time, we'll move on to flight number two and we can add our duration there as well. Once we're done logging our flights, we'll tap the red exit button and confirm that we are done logging flights and continue on to our post flight. Once we complete any post flight steps, we'll be brought into the review section. If we did fly within the app and took any photos, we would be presented with an extra step here that would allow us to download the photos to the mobile device or upload them to the cloud. The main prompt here though is asking what is our mission status? So if we plan to fly this mission again later, maybe tomorrow or later in the week, we'll wanna leave this mission open or in progress, which is gonna keep it in the pilot's approved mission list in the app. If we've completed the objective, we can close out this mission and mark it complete, which will then wrap up all of our activity. We'll have one more chance to enter our flight notes here. We'll tap done. And now that's gonna sync everything up and send it to the web and we'll be brought back to our airspace dashboard. If we do a quick refresh on the web, we'll see our mission now looks a little different that it has flight logs attached to it. 
And we'll continue this in the next snippet as we dig into some of the filters and tags and export capabilities.